Hello and welcome to Smart Plant Construction. This particular movie is going to specifically uh, showcase the features of Smart Plant Construction as it relates to progressing, uh, both from your initial onset from the administrative function to be able to refresh your schedule, to be able to pull in your construction work packages and their dates and budget allocation into Smart Plant Construction as well as uh, on the export side to be able to once you have brought in the construction work packages from uh, from your schedule from Primavera or your other scheduling tools to be able to uh, report back into those tools and in this case we create a standard XML load file for for Primavera so let's take a look at that once you uh, like I said refresh your schedule and you have that available when you actually create a new work package in Smart Plat Construction uh, you start the process uh, of establishing what you will report progress against by virtue of the construction work package itself. You can see here I have a series of construction work packages these were loaded in as WBS items from your Primavera schedule and you can just simply choose one of those and through the association it automatically populates the engineering work package the contract this belongs to, the contractor uh, that actually has that contract, what discipline it belongs to, and then you decide what purpose this may be. This drives out your rules of progress, a very important portion of progressing because based on the purpose of the package, different work steps could be allocated to the particular components in that work package. So now I've basically established an FIWP, it's assigned to a parent construction work package, a contract and a contractor. I'm going to go ahead and save this out. Now this starts the process forward in terms of uh, tracking progress. Now I can go to the schedule tab and I can see that this in fact this particular construction uh, FIWP is associated to a parent construction work package uh, for the sulfur recovery area. It along with other work packages also. You can see there's some 11 work packages here. They can be resequenced uh, here uh, in this particular interface and you can establish plan and start and finish dates uh, for this particular FIWP and you can have an estimated uh, set of man hours which will be different from the actual calculated set of man hours. You can go ahead and enter a crew size associated with that and have some basic information and we'll come back later uh, and talk about this a little bit when we actually start to to calculate plan man hours and actually start to claim completed man hours and start to enter actual start and uh, actual finish dates. But for this time let's go ahead and, and uh, save it. As you can see there's a message comes up tells me my plan start date can't be uh, later than my plan finish date. So <laughs> let's back this up. It's a good feature there and make sure it kind of keeps you in line there. So we'll save that off. Uh, now we would have uh, now associated an additional FIWP to a series of FIWPs associated with this particular construction work packages. And as you can see now we don't have any content, we don't have any drawings uh, in the particular package, uh, etc. And there's lots of ways to put that content in. You could drag and drop a drawing onto the package or we could go to the three-dimensional model uh, and, and, and add some content. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's jump over to a particular uh, model. This is a, a three-dimensional model. Uh, an intelligent model that has associated to it the drawings uh, that are within the model and also uh, the component uh, identification information associated with that. So let's fly into a particular portion of this model. And Smart Plan Construction provides you a lot of feedback real time as to what is packaged and, and what is not packaged. We'll go ahead and uh, narrow down our bottom of our screen to our, our new field installation package that we created here and you can see that it has no content within it. We'll go ahead and collapse this and what I'm going to do is apply a couple of filters. I'm going to apply a, a structural filter. I'm going to apply a piping filter. Uh, I'm going to change my colors on, on my piping filter to be purple so we can get a and then I'm going to apply a filter that says show me everything that that needs to be packaged here. You can see the various uh, statuses you can see here, components in a package, fully planned, needs planning, uh, etc. So what we'll do is go into needs planning uh, and we'll pick uh, uh, for installation, let's say, 
and we will apply that. So we've got basically a structural filter, a piping filter, and now we're showing a filter for those things that need to be planned in, to in totality. So let's add that together so we just see uh, those items which require planning and currently they're in yellow. Let's change those to red. So you can see that and you can see now we can see that we have our FIWP. So we'll go ahead and select on a particular component. Our selection rule uh, will we dictate what we pick up, whether it's a component, a spool. We can just make it a component for the purposes of this movie. And I'll select on this particular component, highlight that. Obviously, I can do properties, see the properties associated with that, jump to the drawings, uh, et cetera, for that. But for the purpose of this demo, we're going to go ahead and, and, and put the, this particular elbow in the package so you can see how it works. So I'll drag and drop that. Smart Plant Construction takes a look at that component. It knows what it is in terms of a discipline. It knows your unit of measure, your standard unit rates, and it thus adds that component, pulls in the drawing associated with that component, calculates the man hours associated with that, and turns it appropriately to the color of planned now for piping. So you know now that this particular elbow has been planned. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. Put in the drawings for this. You can have different components. But we'll go ahead and, and expand this and see that we've basically got two steps, stage and install. Pretty straightforward. Got standard unit rates associated with them. You can do an adjustment factor if you choose to do so. You can pick from a list of adjustment factors to adjust that up if you wanted to. And then you get a planned man hours. You get your completed man hours. And you have also have your actual man hours and your actual quantities. It's a very important uh, feature in smart plant construction. So now I can come in, you can see I've planned three man hours. I can go ahead and claim a particular step, let's say staged. You can see that I've got that completed man hours. But I could also adjust my quantities. If I want to come in and say that it, it actually took me uh, 0.75 uh, man hours uh, to complete that task, I could do so and enter that. There was a quantity of one for that particular one, and so we'll leave that the same. But you can see that uh, that can be adjusted so that you can have that reflected in your, uh, your calculations relative to that particular item. So we can go ahead and claim install on it. We can get that progress completed. We can so show the FIWP itself is completed. The plan man hours are actually completed uh, based on the rates that were established. We established uh, some actual uh, quantities and we could enter notes uh, if there was some sort of uh, field change request uh, associated with this. So quickly uh, uh, grabbing all the uh, refresh the work steps so we can see the results of the progress uh, that we have claimed on this particular package. Now this is all realized in the reporting mechanism within Smart Plant Construction so at this point we can do a lot of different reports. We can do a scorecard report a work package progress details, a summary by work package. We can look at our material requests, look at our constraint requests, but let's go ahead and take a look at a work package progress details. Now, this is very important. You can generate this out to a PDF or an Excel file uh, if you choose to do so, and we'll just choose PDF for this particular purposes, but you could go to Excel uh, and have additional manipulation capabilities after that to run macros and that type of thing. But, uh, we'll go ahead and run this late, uh, ask later for that. You can see the FIWP, the status, uh, the, the project uh, associated with what CWP, the EWP, the contract, the contractor, the area, the purpose, discipline. You can have any scope or notes. Your plan start, plan finish, your estimated, and when you're planning and finishing, you can get your actual data in there too. We can come back and set that. And you can see that you're 100% complete. A very simplistic example however, a very powerful uh, uh, functionality that could be applied at a, at a much more comprehensive level. So instead of the simple package that we've got now, I'll go over here and we'll take a look at a more comprehensive package. So you can see how that would look in the, in the real world. Uh, so let's jump over to this particular screen. You can see now that, uh, that I've got a package that's got five spools in it. It's got the gate valves in it. It's got all the fill welds. Uh, at the job site, uh, this is a field installation work package associated with the gate valves, the flanges, which imply the bolt-ups. As you can see, a lot of comprehensive information here. The material, the thickness, 
the plan, the completed, the actual, et cetera, with the same interface to allow you to package that. So when you generate a report for this, it's a much more comprehensive report uh, for a more complex package. And we'll, we'll also put that out to PDF and uh, bring that up. And we're also going to show uh, how you roll this up to a construction work package uh, to conclude the demonstration and also how to put that back out to, uh, to Primavera. So you can see the same formatted report uh, but one with much more details, much more work involved, what you would typically see that might be allocated for a crew uh, during a shift period there. Uh, so you can run those reports at the FIWP level you go back to your home page, you can also have those revealed in a couple of other places. One at the project level reports, where you can do project summaries by different uh, criteria, whether it be by discipline, by construction work package, uh, by drawing, by commissioning system, viewing plan versus man hours and that type of thing. So let's just click on one of these, like a, a CWP schedule breakdown, and, and put that out to uh, uh, PDF so we can get a quick look at all our construction work packages, the actual uh, FIWPs that are within those work packages and their plan and start and finish dates. These are expanded to hours by discipline, by drawing, etc., by commodities. So you can see actual versus um, uh, your plan commodities uh, from that perspective on a discipline by discipline basis. Uh, also, you can get the dashboard where you can expose this capability. Uh, via your dashboard and, and be able to see new uh, items. Let's say, for instance, a, uh, a discipline uh, report. We'll create that view, and then what we'll do is we'll go over and show the menu here. We'll drag and drop this particular uh, item uh, over uh, to, to the particular view. So let's do a work breakdown and put that over here. And then what we'll do is configure that real quickly uh, to show what you want to see. Let's say we want to see a contractor uh, summed up by uh, completed man hours. And, and let's apply that. You can see that real time uh, in, your, uh, in your actual interface on your dashboard. Uh, in addition to that, you can export this out uh, to Primavera at various levels, whether it be by the work package level, et cetera to be able to associate with that. So what I'll do is do a quick uh, work package export. Save that out, export that. That will be successfully exported into an XML file that I can absorb and, and read back into Primavera. So I'll quickly go into Primavera here and log in. And you can uh, quickly see uh, the results of your planning uh, in smart plant construction and see that within uh, Primavera. So let's go back to the desktop here and uh, find that particular file. Go backwards here just a little bit. Select XML, which is what we generated. We see our work export, finish that up, and this will import the schedule and the dependencies and the resource allocations that you actually define within smart plant uh, construction. So now I can uh, open this particular project and see the results of that in the actual uh, interface here. So you can see that I've scheduled all these various work packages uh, within the system uh, and allocated the resources and dates to those so you can pull those back in uh, to smart plant construction. So uh, pretty straightforward capability from the import side. You refresh your schedule or import that via your project configuration file. You schedule your FIWPs. You establish their dependencies uh, to each other uh, within the scheduling interface. As you'll see here, you can see all the, the various packages and their dependencies uh, amongst each other uh, within the interface. 
and this can be quickly exported back out uh, to Primavera on demand and also specific progress reports generated uh, within the interface of smart plant construction itself. Uh, that's a summary of smart plant construction, progressing and reporting. If you need additional details, contact your local representative and we'd be happy to do a live demonstration. Thank you for your attention.